the Magic City Acceptance Center is a uh, LGBTQ youth center where you can just come and be yourself. You can kind of meet, connect, discuss, make friends, get resources. The center has impacted my life in a very, very positive way, I would say. My life has been very impacted by Magic City Acceptance Center. Without the center, I probably never would have like had the confidence to just be myself. The MCAT has really made me feel more confident in myself throughout the years. I've been put from a place where I did not belong to being somewhere with people that get it. I think most or all of my friends have made their impact. It's made me feel a lot more secure in myself and it's also made me extremely, unbelievably more happy. I used to think that like there was nobody like me in the world and that if there were, I would never meet them, but now I know that's not true. The center changed my relationship with my community just by showing me that there is a community in Alabama. The support from like all the staff and everyone here just being like really open-minded has really helped the way I view myself and my confidence. Amanda and Lauren are always there and Laura, it's like a little family kind of. <laughs> These people genuinely care about who comes inside their building and you will be loved and cared for at MCAT. I feel like Lauren and Amanda have really raised me. They are just such amazing people and I want to give back to the community in the way that they have. Alabama is a really tough state to live in, but having a place like MCAC where there's other people like you and you see adults who are supporting you. It's like made it where I feel safe. A lot of people don't have a safe place where they can just be themselves and this provides that. It can feel really upsetting to be in Alabama as an LGBTQ plus person. I feel like it's a little easier when you're around other people who are feeling the same way as you. In Alabama, especially, it's just kind of hard to be a person of color and also queer on top of that, because it feels like you have to choose one or another. Especially right now, we are facing so many attacks just for existing. I've had um, like the occasional fleeting thought of like, I wonder what life would be like if the center wasn't around. It's it's the difference between grayscale and a colorful like palette. I have a lot of friends, and if it was not for MCAT. I don't really know if they would be here today. The center just showed me that like, you can exist and be queer in Alabama and be happy. Without the center, people like me wouldn't be living openly and honestly and just being happy, you know? And the first thing I was excited about today was I get to go back to the MCAC, I get to get, go back and talk to Amanda, Laura, and Lauren. I just love the center that much.